Good morning. Welcome to the first talk of the session. I'm Kostov, and I'll be talking about computational approaches to aid ethnographic research in Makam melodies. So coming to the relevance, we want to build a digital archive, which is well indexed collection with rich metadata with multi-way searching ability. The community engagement should have interactive interfaces for dissemination of cultural heritage with pedagogy and evaluation. And last but not the least, research on ethnomusicology. We want to study cross-cultural similarities, interactions, and patterns through audio analysis, machine learning, and visualizations to understand music similarity. So music similarity, it's a very broad and loaded term in itself. So to understand this better, let me play you some audio excerpts. So this is excerpt A for you. And this is excerpt B. And here is X sub C. If the question is which one is similar to which one, the answer is, well, it depends. A and B are similar with respect to the melody, whereas A and C are temporally similar. So music similarity can be in different musical dimensions like timbre, rhythm, melody, lyrics, and so on. Also at the different time scales, it can be a song level, phrase level, or even a note level similarity. And throughout this talk, we'll be focusing mainly on melodic similarity on the time scale of a musical passage. And coming to the motivation, the question we ask is precisely how different is different. So these degrees of difference, if humans can perceive, then can machine perceive the same. And the broad paradigms that are necessary are acoustics, the signal itself, which we build upon then the psychoacoustics or the perception. So we have to know the frequency representation in the human ears. It also involves neuropsychology or the cognition to understand what meaning it makes us in the brain and musicology for the recognition to tie with the concepts already known or the experience. So we can rephrase this theme of the talk as strolling through a song bank developing ways of seeing cross-cultural relationships in music. So there will be three parts of this talk. In the first part, I'll be quickly iterating through some existing tools, both commercial and some friendly for scientific discourse or pedagogy. So we have been all using these tools for exploring music and searching music, but these use only tag based or metadata based search and not the actual musical attributes like the melody, harmony or rhythm. There are some signal processing or visualization tools, for example, sonic visualizer, but you have to have a knowledge of audio waveform and spectrogram to understand the dimensions and to be able to isolate the harmonics and the background, foreground, etc. So there are some semi-automatic or semi-interactive tools and I'll be giving one demonstration. So 
this is uh, NCPA by Autrim. And this is a case study on Indian art music. This shows the fundamental frequency contour over time. So a musicologist can sit with this graph. This is one dimensional, listen to the audio and also have an idea about the pitch shapes, the shape of the ornaments and study intonation, duration or specific aspects of the melody. There also have been aggregator frameworks like Dunia by Comp Music, which facilitates exploring different music collections. But the most interesting aspect that we'll be talking in more details later are new ways to visualize similarity. For example, here we can see they had introduced a histogram similarity for searching similar ragas or similar melodies. And we'll be talking about these computational models in the later part of the talk. So now I'll be introducing ourselves. And let me remind you that our research is at the intersection of cultural heritage preservation and computational analysis. So who we are? We are MASC, Music and Sound Cultures Research Laboratory at the NYU Abu Dhabi. We are a group of researchers, students, and external collaborators with a research agenda of developing audio analysis and machine learning tools capable of understanding the music from the region, which is the MENA or Middle Eastern region. Creation of a digital corpus involving existing and original recordings. And of course, developing applications having educational goals in mind. And the corpus we'll be covering in this talk is divided into two collections. The first one is called Arab Mashriq Collection, which is a 500 hours of recordings consisting of commercial recordings and original field recordings from the region. And the second one is the Andrew Eisenberg Collection, which is featuring 170 hours of Swahili Tarab music. And this presents a demographic uh, information about the NYU Music Compendium, as we say. And also we want to study the cultural migration within this Indian oceanic uh, aesthetic space through computational analysis of this archive. And the interdisciplinary approach is to have uh, an archival tool for transmitting and understanding the culture through developing new ways of browsing large collections of music, then gathering deep insights on cross-cultural relationship through these analysis and create applications that enable users to perform, learn and become encultured in the specific aspects of the music. And I'd like to mention a title of one ongoing project, the Swahili Musical Imagination, Intercultural Style and Aesthetics in the Compositions of Ali Salim Balsama. I'll refer to this at the very end of the talk once more. And coming to the computational models. So the first one, of course, the very intuitive one is the pitch class distribution or for example, the pitch distribution, the continuous one, as you can see in the figure. We also have identified the peaks by picking the peaks in the histogram. And as this doesn't capture the timing information, there is also the time delayed melodic surface, which is a two dimensional histogram that captures the transition between uh, the notes with a specific delay coordinate. And we also do on time series analysis with respect to the melodic contour, the transcription, and some melodic progression features. This will be talked in more details in a few minutes. And then of course, melodic transcription to stable note regions. And let me give you one demonstration of this. So this is one 15 second excerpt picked from our collection. And you see the different colors that signify the different notes that are segmented and identified automatically based on some heuristic features. And I'd be playing the audio along with these notes played on sinusoidal synthesis so that you can have the overlap between them and appreciate uh, the detection of stable note transcription. Here we go. Uh, 
So here we can take a look at the different notes and also you can appreciate the difference in intonations. But coming back to the case study for the histogram, I'd like to grab your attention specifically to this peak where it is almost at the quarter tone level. And this is indeed a half flat note. So from this case study and this computational analysis, we can have discussions with musicologists and appreciate these uh, musical phenomena. And not only we can do at case study level, but we can scale it up into corpus level. For example, this histogram is from one excerpt in Makam Mahur. And here we scale up to 50 concerts in the corpus and the average histograms can be compared with respect to each other to find similarities between each other in with respect to each peak shapes and the locations of the nodes. And we'll be now talking uh, about the community engagement applications. First through the demonstration of a toolbox tomato and then I'll uh, hover up on the virtual reality application that we are currently developing. So here is a demonstration by my colleague, uh, Dr. Shirtan Shantur about the toolbox and some specific cases uh, we have taken for the melodic analysis. Here we go. Hello everyone. My name is Sartan Shantur. I'm an independent researcher and an external collaborator of the Music and Sound Cultures Research Group, NYU Abu Dhabi. In this demo, I will showcase you a tool called Turkish Ottoman Makam Music Analysis Toolbox or in short, Tomato. I built this toolbox during my PhD within the Comp Music project with a motivation to fill the lack of open source and easy to use implementations of computation analysis methodologies applied to Macam music. Tomato implements more than 15 music score and audio analysis methods. While this tool has been primarily designed for Turkish Macam music, we have also been using parts of this tool to conduct musically informed analysis of several neighboring music cultures. For demonstration, we created a repo in GitHub, which explains how to install and use Tomato. To install Tomato, we use Docker, which allows us to run applications in an isolated fashion. This way, we can deploy and reproduce our work easily across different machines and operating systems. As a prerequisite of this demo, you need to install Docker. And then you also need to download or clone the Git repository to your machine. Once you complete these two steps, you need to build the Docker image configured in the repo which will have Tomato pre-installed. Change the directory and then run docker compose build. Note that the first run might take a long time to complete, depending on your internet connection. Once the build is complete, you can start the application by running docker compose After a few seconds, you will see a URL on the terminal. Open the URL in your favorite browser to access Jupyter, which provides us a visual interface to demonstrate the toolbox. Click on the notebook file called demo.ipymb to continue. In this notebook, we show three different access patterns to use Tomato. Before explaining each case in detail, I will run the notebook end to end and wait for the analysis to complete. Now that the run is completed, we can proceed to the first example. Here we extract melodic features from a short uh, segment of Egyptian Makam music. First, let's listen to the audio for a few seconds. Here, we call each algorithm individually, and then we plot the predominant melody and pitch distribution side by side. From the plot, we can observe the tuning as well as the intonation characteristics of the vocal melody. 
Tomato also allows us to extract all possible audio features by calling a single line of code. We demonstrate this functionality in the second example with a Turkish Makam music recording. Here we see the uh, high level analyze method in action. Once the analysis is complete and we plot uh, using the functionality in Tomato itself, uh, we can observe many more features that are available to us, such as the tuning of the notes, the tonic frequency, as well as a melodic progression representation. We can take the analysis a step further by utilizing a music score of the performed composition. In the third example, we apply audio score alignment to the same Turkish Makam music recording and jointly analyze the interlinked information. This way, we can capture a more accurate and enriched representation of the music, such as the sections and aligned notes in the plot, as well as the individual distributions of each note interleaved to the pitch distribution. Tomato has been used in the back end of Dunya to analyze the Makam music corpus created as part of the Comp Music project. We can proceed to the website and listen to the examples with the analysis synchronized to the playback. I would like to conclude the demo at this point. Please do not hesitate to contact me or Kosu for any remarks or suggestions. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you, Shartan, for the crisp demonstration of the implementation and the features. And finally, coming to the VR experience. So we have had the implementation of VR for the temporal space of the same collection with MFCC and other temporal features. I'd like to show a small demonstration of that, but we are also working on extending the same space with the melodic features for better navigation in a VR space. So here is a demonstration by our colleague, uh, Leonid Kuzmenko, and here we go. This is our welcome window. You can read the tutorial here. You can walk around, fly around in this virtual space by using the thumbstick on the right controller. To select any sphere, just point at it and pull the right trigger. As you may hear, the sound is spatialized. Pull the left trigger to stop audio. You can see we have spheres of different colors. The same color means that the audio clips are somehow similar in their sound. We also have what's called the bird eye view. By pressing the right thumbstick, you can teleport to this location and appreciate the whole scenery from a distance. Press again to return. We also have the predefined path. By pressing A on the right thumbstick, you'll be dragged to a point to listen the manually selected sphere. Press A again to continue on this path. These spheres are selected by us to particularly show you the difference between the colors. And then we return to the beginning. Thanks, Leo. Coming to the conclusion, so rather than trying to achieve a statistically robust computational model, we are also using existing technologies and adapted them to developing tools for empirical studies on ethnomusicology in close collaboration with musicologists. We do advocate potential of technology towards music appreciation and engagement for the common mass. And down the line, we want to find appropriate metadata descriptions of genre and structural categorization of these music traditions using domain knowledge expertise. And finally, I want to end with an anecdote. Uh, can influence be modeled via these computational models through melodic similarity? For example, 
we have the Swahili music, which has influence of both Egyptian melodies, and they were recorded in Bollywood in the uh, 1920s. So can we do some melodic similarity analysis through computational models to find which is having more influence on this particular piece of music? This is an ongoing project and we are very excited on that. And I do acknowledge the project for generosity funding and our collaborators for their contributions. Thank you. That's all from my part. And I'd be most glad to take questions.